Hey guys, happy rain day. <laughs> it's raining like crazy. I hope you like rain. I sure do. Or maybe it's because in California here we don't get a lot of rain. So anytime it rains, it's a happy rain day. So today I want to make a video about how to accomplish more in less time. If you're like me and have too many responsibilities and work and all the stuff at home to do, you might be like, how do I get it all done? But I want to get it all done. It's like anything that doesn't get done costing me money. So I got to get it all done. So I too, I work three jobs right now. Crazy. Yeah, I know. But I'm the only in family making any income right now. So I can't like work less because I'm going to make less money. Also, um, I have my animals, goats and dogs and now now we have baby goats and puppies and we also have cats but cats are kind of useless I would be happy to let them go but my family loves them so much so I'll also all the housework all the cleaning cooking and stuff um, all the laundry everything is all on me all my kids helping me but I still have to make sure it gets all done so you know I don't really want to like let any of those things go and not get them done but I also want to make it uh, make sure I get it all done and still have like some kind of like sanity so th so the first way that I try to get everything done is I do not take days off like lots of people take some like Sundays off like where they don't do any housework or any kind of work well even before my husband used to not be happy with me if I would do laundry on Sunday or any other kind of chores because he would be like oh it's Sunday you're not really supposed to do anything but in reality is if I whatever doesn't get done on Sunday will have to get done on Monday and then on Monday I'll be like overloaded and there'll be too much to do so <sighs> I just don't take any days off and because if you take some time off or day off the work just doesn't get done itself it just piles up to the next day so in order for it to not pile up too much I just don't skip any days I try to get as much as I can each day so it doesn't pile another thing I do is I have a routine so like in the morning I when I wake up I already know what to do like um, because first when I wake up I go outside and do my chores no matter what because usually when I wake up everybody else in the house is still sleeping so I sneak out outside and um, do my chores and I do them in the same order every day so this way I get them done faster because if you have like 20 things to do and you don't do them in the same order every day and then you'll be like skipping things and like running back and forth because you forget some of the things so what I usually do I wake up I feed the dogs and puppies then I go feed my chickens and then I um, get if they have any eggs still early in the morning I'll get them too then I go and uh, milk my goat then I put her back in her place and get the baby goats un unleashed and uh, to be with her so those are those are things I do in like in exactly the same order then I go inside and make breakfast if I have to go to work I get ready for work and leave and um, also if I have to go to work the day I also make sure I leave some food for uh, my kids and husband to eat and also slice some fruits and vegetables for them because if you don't slice them they're not gonna find them in the fridge also some things that I would be doing in the morning but um, in the morning I'm usually really pressed for time I make them ahead like some of the things like making packing your lunch for tomorrow can be done in the evening and also some of the food um, like that could be like sliced up that you're gonna be cooking in the morning um, you can do it in the evening too so this way in the morning I don't spend that much time because for some reason the time in the morning is like more precious than like time any other part of the day so if I know I'm gonna be pressed for time at that period of time when I'm gonna need this item I'm trying to make it ahead so when I need it I can get it really fast I also delegate some of my chores 
um, to my kids, like especially those that they can't really mess up, like taking out the trash, you can't really like mess it up. Um, my older daughter is responsible for getting the eggs from the chickens when, especially when I'm at work, when I'm at home, I might do it myself. And um, my son is responsible for um, uh, putting baby goats um, um, from like around 11 or 12 o'clock, especially when I'm at work. He has to do it. He has to take them from, from the mom and put them on leashes separately so they will be separated from their mom. So she'll accumulate some milk for me to milk her later in the evening. So that's his responsibility. Um, also taking care of puppies, that's both of my older kids' responsibility. And my younger daughter usually responsible for taking out the trash because that's like the only thing she probably can do without... Um, you know that I don't have to worry if she doesn't do it or doesn't do it if if it doesn't get done when at when she has to do it I'll have to remind her later so this way some of the chores um I don't have to worry about I just have to kind of make sure they get done and also somebody suggested in the comments that like you can maybe hire some help um it's you know if I have to hire somebody it's just better not to get stuff done because hiring somebody is going to cost me per hour probably as much or even more than I make at work. So what's the point? You know, I could either work less or um, just um, do it myself, you know, because hiring somebody is out of question because it's too expensive. Also, because even lo like washing dishes, I don't even use dishwasher because washing it by hand is cheaper, even though it takes time, but it's cheaper. Um, but you can certainly use dishwasher if that's what you prefer. But I just don't want to waste even a single penny on something that doesn't have to be wasted. And like hanging laundry outside, um, I usually do it because it saves me money. So, or sometimes my kids help me to do it. They can hang the laundry outside for me or even take, take it off. Especially if I'm at work, I tell them, okay, if I hang it in the morning, I tell them like, okay, around... 2 p.m. take it off but first make sure it's actually dry so and they can do it so my kids help me a lot with what I have to do at home so because you know sometimes I think if my kids would be toddlers I would be like drowning in everything because there's no way I could get all this done but because they're a little bit older they can help me and we get stuff done and my tip number five is to use any spare time. If you have extra 15 minutes, uh, like you're waiting for something, or um, like if you have break at work or whatever, or lunch at work, um, use this time wisely. If I have to wait for my kids, if I take them to the art class or music lessons or whatever, um, I can either um, write something in my notebook for next video or even film the video if I'm in the car or even like, do anything like from clipping my nails to like wiping my car just something useful besides just um sitting and wasting time so this way if i instead of wasting this half an hour when i have to wait for something anyways i just um get something useful done so i don't have to do it later and spend my time later tip number six is to use blocks like I have blocks for like my morning chores, my evening chores, then um, on those, there, there are certain times when I uh, cook and like, um, you know, like this, if it doesn't happen at this time of the day, it's not happening at all. So there's a certain period of time where I'm doing things and um, this way. I don't have to worry about my morning chores when it's noon already because it's already done. Or I don't have I don't have to worry about my evening chores when it's still daytime because this way it kind of keeps my mind off of something I have to do later because it's not time to do it yet. Tip number 7, I do things in batches. Like if I'm cooking something, I'm cooking enough for the next 3 days, so the next 2 days I don't have to even worry about cooking at all so this saves me a lot of time like if I'm um, running some errands or like I'm driving home from work I stop by uh, where like whether I have to stop by the grocery store the bank or whatever I when I'm on the road anyways and I'm passing nearby that place anyways I just stop 
at that time i never ever go to the grocery store like leaving my house going to the grocery store and come back because i see that waste a lot of gas and time so i, I never do that if i have to go to the grocery store i stop by on my way home from whether i'm going from work or from um t when i take my kids to their um activities tip number eight is don't sweat the small stuff or the stuff that will not make any difference whether it's done today or three days from now um to me it's like things like that is usually like cleaning because a lot of things are not gonna get much dirtier if you do it like three days later from now like my bathrooms um I'm, I usually used to clean my bathrooms once a week, but now sometimes when I get too busy, if I don't get to them even 10 days later, they'll be just fine. They'll be just as dirty when I get to them. So if I, because really it doesn't really cost me any extra money if I get it on time or three days later, it's still the same. And tip number nine, if you can't do everything, choose some goals to let go. Like... I would love to lose some weight, but because I'm already stretched to like, you know, with everything else I have to do, I don't really, that's not my goal right now to like lose weight because I would just not be able to do this in addition to everything else I do. Uh, another goal that I decided to let go is like all this um, home decor or making my house like really pretty. Well, be and because it also costs money to buy all kinds of decor. So for right now, I just try to declutter it as much as I can. But, you know, it I don't really, it doesn't bother me if my furniture and carpets or other things don't really match together. It's no big deal. I'm not going to even worry about that because I just can't have that in, in, on top of everything else I do. Another thing I choose not to worry about right now is beauty and fashion. I'm not going to worry about like dress, being dressed to like, you know, fashionable stuff. I as long as it's like warm and comfy and all that, I'm fine. I, I'm not going to worry about latest trends and be all fashionable and like doing stuff with my hair. I mean, I color my hair once every two months and that's enough work. So I... And I don't even wear makeup because that's too much work too. So I'm I'm not gonna deal with that because so these things they just have to wait until I have more time to deal with them. And if I don't have will not have, get any time to deal with those things, I mean so what? So thank you guys for watching. I hope those tips will help you accomplish more in your life and get stuff done without going crazy. Thanks for watching. Bye.